Hello, Sadhguru. My name is Fabio, and uh, I was wondering if uh, uh, in this treat that you are doing now, if you already have a new knowledge or new intuition, new new idea or something that maybe if you were home you you would not have. You know, I don't know if you have a comfort zone. Probably you are always in your comfort zone, but. Uh, I just realized that when I travel and I go out of my comfort zone, sometimes I also struggle a little bit because I go out of my routine, but then I always have something new, some new intuition that really helped me in my life. So this is why I was wondering if you also have this, if you have new idea, new intuition or something new that came from this trip. Thank you very much. Hope to see you soon. Ciao. Namaskaram Fabio. <laughs> well, comfort is... Uh not in where we are, comfort is just in how we think and feel. See, here I am uh, standing next to a, an antique uh, Coca-Cola truck. I don't drink that drink, but I'm quite comfortable being next to it. <laughs> Doesn't matter, it's a little bit of carbon dioxide, but it, I'm okay with it. So, comfort is not in a place, comfort is not in the softness of a sofa, comfort is not in the convenience of a home, comfort is just in the way you think and feel. So, sitting on a motorcycle across all kind of terrain, I'm very comfortable <laughs> Well, physical hardships are there, that is there for last thirty-nine years, I've been non-stop travel. Even before that, I was traveling for a different reason. So, don't get into this mode of what is comfort zone, what is not, then you're creating a prison of your own. This is my comfort zone means you fixed a prison. Don't imprison yourself. It's very, very important that nobody imprisons themselves in the framework of their thoughts, of their emotions, their ideas, their philosophies, their opinions, their prejudices. These are all prisons that we create and we suffer as if somebody locked us up. Nobody has locked us up. Somebody can physically lock us up, but that shouldn't matter even if we are uh, locked up physically, it is possible that you can be free. I want you to know that we did a program or continue to do the program now for the last twenty plus years, Inner Freedom for the Imprisoned, for all the prisons in southern India. And uh, I must tell you, there was a... Uh, there was a young man uh, who had spent already seven, eight years in the prison and he had a life sentence uh, and uh, he wrote a poem after going through inner engineering program. Inside the prison, I personally went and taught these programs initially, now our teachers are conducting this. So this boy wrote a poem, he's a school dropout, he had never written poetry in his life, but he wrote a poem saying that, till now, every day when the prison door closed, I thought this is my grave. But now, when the prison door closes upon me, I feel this is my Bodhi tree. So. How we experience a certain space, whether it's comfortable or not comfortable, whether it is constructive or liberating, is not in the place, it is the way we think and feel. Let's make this happen, that every human being is a liberated human being. Let's make it happen.